Um, in, when I was in eighth grade, I started posting YouTube videos of me singing other people's songs because I cried to my mom and I was like, take me to LA, that's where the studios are. And she was like, girl, go post the YouTube video. And so I started doing that and um, the very second video I posted, like I think what really got me super serious about it, the second video I posted, my grandfather was in there while I was recording, we were in the kitchen and my little brother, I had him recording for me. And my granddad was sitting there and he was like, do it over. I can't feel it. And I was like, you can't feel it. So he's like, well, as the listener, I should be able to feel what you're singing about. And it was an Adele song. So, I mean, I didn't know how much more power to put in it aside from what I had at however old I was. I think I was like 13. And so I'm like, okay. So I did it again. In the second take, he's like, okay, I like it. You can post that one. So I started doing that, and then in 2000, so that was 2012. In 2015, um, I heard about Young Chicago Authors. So I started going to their open mics, joined their Louder Than a Bomb, um, which is like a poetry uh, competition for indie poets in schools who have like poetry in them. And so after that, Chance started doing his open mics. So I started going to his open mics. And then people started asking me to perform for them. And so in 2015, I, one of my friends, we were at a mutual friend's house and he brought all of his like studio equipment over. And I had just like, not even wrote, but I was just thinking of this song. And then when we were at our friend's house, he's like, Chris, I got this beat for you. I think you'll sound great over it. So I started singing the song that I had like just been like conjuring up in my mind over the beat. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. It fits. So for me, that moment was also like, wow, you can do this. And so we put the song out. And then in 2000, what was that, 16, I released my first EP entitled Self. And my message always and will forever be about love, whether it is love of self, love of others, love of Christ, faith, whatever, you know, that whole, the whole nine yards. And so um, that EP was entitled Self. And then, um, but I will say, like, I started, like, I've always known this is something I've wanted to do. When I was seven years old, like, I was singing in, like, my grandmother's reflector on her stove. And I turned and I asked her, I was like, Grandma, you think I could be a famous singer? And she, she looked at me and she's like, Baby, you're going to be a superstar. So, I mean, there are, like, many different like epiphanies and different things that have occurred in my life that I feel like have encouraged me to like be on the path that I'm on and just have me feel as though this is something that I definitely want to do indefinitely like all the time forever always and that's not to say I don't have my moments where I don't want to do it or I'm feeling doubtful but nonetheless I feel like there's always a draw a pull and I always 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 want it.